happened when Boss Lu Feng was not yet a director at police headquarters 703. He lived in a small village. Before that he used to work in the army, but now he only ran a small business. One day the people in the village suddenly shouted throughout the village because someone had just died at the edge of the forest again. Everyone was shocked when they heard the news. Because this was not the first time someone had died, there had been several people recently. The villagers rushed to the edge of the forest to see who the victim was. All of them had worried expressions on their faces. The deaths appeared more and more leading them to believe that a serial killer was appearing in this town. After seeing the dead body, everyone was even more confused. Because this time and another person was brutally killed in the same way as before. His eyes, nose and mouth, even his ears were filled with straw by someone. At this time Lu Feng also arrived. He was currently assisting the village chief in managing this place. Lu Feng said, Everyone stay calm. Stay out of the way for the village chief. The village head at this time could only shake his head, his heart full of bewilderment because another person was killed horribly like before. Because he had worked in the military, Lu Feng also understood the process. He asked everyone to disperse and not affect the crime scene. The villagers continued to talk about the murder. Everyone was anxious. Because this was in the remote countryside, the police often arrived very late. Finally, the corpse was transferred to the best healer in the village to do an autopsy. Lu Feng and the village chief anxiously awaited the result outside. After a while, the healer also finished doing an autopsy and called them in to have a look. The healer couldn't believe his eyes and didn't know what to say. So the healer called the two of them inside to witness the incident with their own eyes. After the healer dissected the body to examine the inside, all of them were shocked and scared. The inside of the victim's body was now stuffed with straw. The village chief felt that this killing method was too cruel. Why did they stuff the victim with straw like that? But the healer said, the scary thing here was that the straw grew from the inside of the dead person's body. It was not stuffed in by someone. This thing made them both suspicious. How could such a strange thing happen? The village chief thought that perhaps the healer had made a wrong prediction. The healer was angry, saying that he had worked at a large hospital for many years. How could there be a wrong examination? After hearing that, the village chief immediately asked Lu Feng to investigate this case because he didn't know when the police would arrive in this village. Up until now, Lu Feng had never investigated murder cases, so he hesitated a bit but still had to listen to the village chief's words. That night, Lu Feng set up a patrol team to go around the village. Each person would hold a torch and a wooden spear as weapons, then they split up to look for evidence. The team kept looking for information like that for two days, but nothing happened. On the third day, while they were patrolling the entrance of the village, suddenly Lu Feng felt a severe stomach ache and needed to find a place to go to the toilet urgently. So Lu Feng placed a torch and spear near the rock, then he went into the bushes to solve the stomach. Perhaps because he ate a lot of seafood in the afternoon, he had a stomach ache. It was comfortable to go to the toilet on time. While he was going to defecate, Liu Feng saw a black shadow appear from afar. It seemingly was dragging something. In the dark, Liu Feng saw a man in a robe. He was stuffing something into another man's mouth. And then the man waited silently. In the dim darkness, Liu Feng could not see the man's face. But a terrible thing happened straw began to grow from the mouth and eyes of the man laying on the ground. In just a few moments they sprouted and fruited like rice seeds. After that, the man in the row picked up those grains of rice and ate them with delight. Then he left the man's body there and left. Everything happened very quickly. Lu Feng did not have time to react. He could only pull up his pants, take the torch, spear and chase after him. As soon as he caught up with the man, 
Lu Feng shouted and asked him to stop. The man was a bit surprised, but immediately threw a white powder at Lu Feng. But suddenly a thick fog appeared in front of him. The fog was so thick that Lu Feng couldn't see everything. There was a shadow coming closer to him. As soon as the shadow approached, Lu Feng almost froze. He was not a human, but a straw scarecrow with glowing eyes and terrifying sharp teeth. After regaining his composure, Lu Feng took a wooden spear and hit the straw scarecrow directly. Taking advantage of the dense fog, he passed Lu Feng easily. At this time, the fog was so thick that Lu Feng could not see clearly, but he was always on guard not to be attacked by surprise. From behind, Lu Feng felt a killing intent. A dark shadow was slowly approaching him. Immediately, Lu Feng turned back to defend himself. A straw tentacle suddenly rushed out of nowhere. The tentacle began to wrap around his neck and squeeze. Now it no longer looked like an ordinary straw scarecrow, but on its body grew many straw tentacles like an octopus. Lu Feng was squeezed by the monster to the point of suffocation and couldn't take it anymore. Then suddenly, Lu Feng remembered the knife that he brought tonight. Lu Feng tried his best to pull out the dagger. After getting the knife, Lu Feng immediately cut off the tentacle that was strangling him. And very quickly, he turned back and slashed the monster with a deep slash that severed its shoulder in a large chunk. At this point, Lu Feng had the upper hand, so he raised his knife to prepare to finish it. He stabbed the knife straight into the monster's head and then gently pulled a long line to slit its head in half. Using the last bit of strength to resist, the monster threw white powder into Lu Feng's face again. Right after that, his mind was dizzy and he started to want to pass out. Knowing that he would not hold out much longer, Lu Feng tried his best to open his eyes. Lu Feng decided to hug the monster tightly to prevent it from escaping and repeatedly stabbed it in its back. The next morning in a dream, Lu Feng heard the villagers call him. He tried to wake up and saw everyone in front of him. In his arms, he still clutched the straw monster and his whole body ached. Everyone helped Lu Feng to sit up. He was still in shock from last night's events. So he looked back at the straw scarecrow lying on the ground. That's right. The knife was still stuck in it by him. The villagers helped Lu Feng back home and at the same time they also tugged the straw scarecrow to the village. Hearing the news that the killer was caught, the whole village eagerly gathered around to see. But when they saw that the killer was a straw scarecrow, everyone was shocked. So the village chief came to reassure everyone. This straw scarecrow had absorbed the moon's light for so long that it had turned into a monster. Then the village chief reassured everyone that he would perform a ceremony to banish evil spirits. Lu Feng was the person who directly experienced everything, but he also didn't want to speak up. After that, the straw scarecrow was burned by the village chief to destroy the disaster. After a long time, no one was harmed. But after that, Lu Feng rejoined the army and did not return to the village. Later, Lu Feng became the director of Headquarters 703. One day, subordinates reported to him the arrest of a secret agent soldier. The interrogation should have been handled by a separate department. However, they had no way of talking to the spy. They reported it to Lu Feng. Looking troubled, he also went there to examine the situation. But as soon as Lu Feng got there, the spy surprised him. He was the healer from that village. The strange thing was that he hadn't changed at all from before. Only now, the healer revealed that that year, he had researched and planted a seed in the human body, helping to stay young forever. But when he fought with Lu Feng, he didn't fight back. So he took the hallucinogenic powder to throw it into Lu Feng and ran away, replacing it with a straw scarecrow. After that, the healer was convicted of multiple murders and was eventually executed. 
The Straw Scarecrow incident that year was also classified as a secret case.